everyone this is Ekalpana here in this video we're going to solve the given linear differential equation so let's get going problem solve dy by dx equals to e power tan inverse x minus y by 1 plus x square solution given differential equation dy by dx equals to e power tan inverse x minus y by 1 plus x square. Consider 1 plus x square as one term. In the numerator you are having two terms and in the denominator you are having one term. So we can split the RHS into two terms. e power tan inverse x by 1 plus x square minus y by 1 plus x square. Now, take this term to LHS and get dy by dx plus y by 1 plus x square equals to e power tan inverse x by 1 plus x square okay which is in linear differential in y form or re linear equation in y form i can say we have or we got dy by dx plus y by 1 plus x square equals to e power tan inverse x by 1 plus x square, right? Which is linear in y. We know that the standard form of linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q. So we can say that this equation is in standard form of linear equation in y, right? So by comparing these two, we'll get p and q, where p equals to y by, sorry, not y. You can just write this as dy by dx plus function of x into y equals to e power tan inverse x by 1 plus x squared. Now it will be easy to write p and q. So p equals to 1 by 1 plus x square. That is coefficient of y will be our p. Okay. And q equals to e power tan inverse x by 1 plus x square. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation, right? But before finding general solution, we need to find integrating factor. Integrating factor IF is given by e power integral PDX. Now using this formula, we'll find the integrating factor to the given equation. Power integral pdx is equals to e power integral for p equals to 1 by 1 plus x square into dx. We know that since integral 1 by 1 plus x square into dx equals to 
tan inverse x plus integral constant c, right? Will not write integral constant here. So this becomes integral 1 by 1 plus x square into dx is tan inverse x. Therefore, integrating factor is the power tan inverse x. Now, we'll find the general solution. We know that the general solution of linear equation in y is given by y into integrating factor first integral q into integrating factor into dx plus integral constant c. Now using this formula, we'll find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution to the given equation is y into integrating factor e power tan inverse x equals to integral q. For q equals to e power tan inverse x by 1 plus x square into integrating factor tan inverse x into dx plus c. This e power tan inverse x, not simply tan inverse x, okay? Fine. Now, you can write this as e power tan inverse x into e power tan inverse x by 1 plus x square into dx plus c or or See, you're having y into e power tan inverse x equals to integral e power tan inverse x into e power tan inverse x by 1 plus x square into dx plus c, right? So, we can evaluate this integral in two times. Is equals to e power tan inverse x into e power tan inverse x can be written as e power tan inverse x whole square by denominator will be as it is or we can just write this as e power, just add the pass tan inverse x plus tan inverse x. Okay, we have e power tan inverse x into e power tan inverse x, right? We can just write this as e power tan inverse x plus tan inverse x just simply by adding the parts. Denominator remains the same into dx plus c. Now, let tan inverse x equals to t. To differentiate on both sides with respect to x, then we'll get derivative of tan inverse x with respect to x is 1 by 1 plus x square equals to dt by dx then 1 by 1 plus x square into dx equals to dt. Now we can replace 1 by 1 plus x square into dx by dt and tan inverse by x. Okay. 
here this becomes e power tan inverse x plus tan inverse x is 2 tan inverse x by 1 plus x square into dx plus c right now you can put tan inverse x equals to t and yes, 1 by 1 plus x square into dx by dt okay fine then this becomes e power t whole square or can just write this as e power tan inverse x whole square into 1 by 1 plus x square into dx plus c and this as e power 2 tan inverse x into 1 by 1 plus x square in, into dx plus c. Right now it will be easy to substitute tan inverse x and 1 by x square into dx. Now we'll replace e tan inverse x by t. Then you get e power t whole square and replace 1 by 1 plus x square by t into dx by dt then you'll get into dt plus c okay. this becomes e power 2t replaces by dt plus c okay this equals to e power t whole square e power t whole square equals to e power 2t or you can just write this as e power t into e power t and add the powers t plus t which is equals to e power 2t okay is equals to e power 2t into dt plus c right we can use any of these two forms okay finally you will get integral e power 2t into dt plus c. Fine. Then y into e power tan was x equals to integral e power 2t into dt plus c. is equals to you know that since integral e power ax into dx equals to 1 by a into e power ax plus c then this becomes e power 2t by 2 plus c is equals to 1 by 2 into e power 2t plus c now replace t since t equals to tan inverse x then this becomes 1 by 2 into e power 2 tan inverse x plus c. Now take the LCM. You get e power 2 tan inverse x. 2 is our LCM, okay? Plus 2c by 2. This becomes. Now bring this 2 to LHS, you will get 2y e power tan inverse x equals to e power 2 tan inverse x plus 2c. Since c being constant, you can write 2c as c. Then 2y into e power tan inverse x equals to e power 2 tan inverse x plus c. Now, take this e power 2 tan inverse x to RHS. You will get 2y equals to 1 by 
e power tan inverse x times e power 2 tan inverse x plus c. You can write 1 by e power tan inverse x as e power minus tan inverse x. This remains the same. Okay. This equals to e power 2 tan inverse x into e power minus tan inverse x plus c into e power minus tan inverse x. Then 2y equals to e power. Now add the powers. 2 tan inverse x minus tan inverse x plus c into e power minus tan inverse x. 2 tan inverse x minus tan inverse x is tan inverse x. Plus c into e power minus tan inverse x. Therefore, 2y equals to e power tan inverse x plus c into e power minus tan inverse x is the required solution or required general solution I can say. So we have seen a problem from linear equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see in the next video. Until then. Bye.